of a nationwide competition held in 1922 to design the most beautiful office tower in the world. The clear winner was Raymond Hood and John Howell's neo-Gothic design, based off of the Malines, otherwise called the Mechlin Cathedral in Belgium. It was an office tower until 2018, where it recently underwent a very controversial multi-million dollar buyout to turn it from offices into condos. Those interior renovations set to be complete by 2022. Take a look over here on our right hand side again. From our perspective, with the white sides and the black vertical line windows, that is the Aeon Center. It is currently the fourth tallest building in the city. A 1,136 feet tall, that is 345 meters. Came up in 1973 as the standard oil building and the tallest building in the world for about eight months. Another completion of the Sears Tower, now Willis Tower. Up there on the right, see up ahead with the curving, undulating concrete floor slabs, and you also notice a water drop motif along the outside. We'll get another chance to see that here in just a sec. That is the Aqua Tower, designed in 2009 by Illinois based architect Jeannie Gann. The first 20 floors of the first uh, of, of the Aqua Tower here, or the first Blue Radisson Hotel, and the rest of it is all condominiums. But at 859 feet, right here in Chicago, the Aqua Tower is the second tallest building in the world, designed by a female principal architect. Now you might be wondering then, well Alex, okay, where's the tallest building in the world designed by a female principal architect? And if you're wondering that, we'll be delighted to know that it's right next to us. Let's take a look. Up here on our right hand side is Jeannie Gang's brand new tower, the Vista Tower, the newest addition to Chicago's iconic skyline. The Vista Tower is four massive interlocked towers all going up to the tallest of four. Interlocked means that it looks like multiple buildings, but it's actually just one cohesive structure. The tallest of the steps comes up to 1,198 feet or 362 meters. If you take a look up towards the top, not quite the top, but towards the top, you're going to see a floor that looks much wider than all of the other floors, and then also without windows. That is the 83rd floor. It's called a blow-through floor. It's completely hollow. With the original design of the Vista Tower, they had a lot of problems with a lot of wind pressure building up around that 83rd floor. During their tests, what they decided to do, sounds strange, but it worked, is they took the 83rd floor, enlarged it, and then removed it from the tower. I'll let all the wind building up with some...
business over here on our right hand side. Thank you. 